if you can't afford a property where you are, this is this goes to anyone. This ain't just the AY London. If you can't afford a property where you are, and, uh, try and get somewhere that's cheaper. Yeah? Buy a property. Yeah? Buy a property. Stop holding on to your money yeah, and just saving it. Yeah, I know, man. I would put all my money and say that they've probably got over a hundred grand in cash easily. I know, man, now I've been on holiday with uh like four years ago or whatever in it yeah and a man's told me yeah i've got 60k in in cash in my bank and my man's a stingy guy in it yeah or, you know he's really conservative with, with his money yeah to the point where a man would just drive uh, any mediocre car that you won't even notice yeah where they could be driving a mercedes or whatever in it because certain man they're just smart with their money in it yeah? and they're really conservative with their money i would say that these people are sitting on a hundred grand in cash easily easily but the problem is your money does nothing for you in a bank account. All it does is just give you that, you know, safety blanket. Oh, if anything goes wrong, I've got 100K in cash. But when was the last time anyone even needed 10K in cash for anything? Yeah. Having 100K in your bank account, yeah, it's a good target to hit, right? But you don't want that money just sitting there gathering dust, yeah? You need your money out working for you, yeah? You need your money, I don't want to say tied up, but you want your money invested yeah so it's better to have 100k in cash start off with 100k in cash and then go and buy let's say i don't know two properties or something like that right so you put down two deposits for two properties and you're left with 10k rather than having no properties and you're just sitting on 100k because all that money is going to do right is give you some little idiot interest yeah ain't gonna help you yeah think about it this way my property that i bought yeah my deposit was 13,600, didn't it? Yeah, so it's chump change, yeah? But that 13,600, right? If I was to sell my property and get back some money for it, I would have pretty much would have profited about 22 grand off my property, yeah? As long as, as, long as I finish up all the work that I need to, be, uh, need to be done, I made a video about this, I'm sure my property would have given me about, given me about 22,000 in profit yeah, if I sold it. My, that thirteen thousand pounds, thirteen thousand six hundred. If I left that sitting in the bank, yeah, I would not even have a grand worth of interest on that property, uh, on that thirteen thousand six hundred. Well, I wouldn't even have three or four grand um, interest on that property, on that thirteen thousand six hundred. So, just sitting, letting your money sit there and fester does nothing. Does nothing at all. Get rid of your cash, but get rid of your cash wisely. Isn't it? Yeah, don't spend it on foolishness. Don't spend it on depreciating assets. Spend it on appreciating assets. Even if you're, let's say like you're a car man, yeah? Let's say you're a car man. If you're really obsessed with cars like that, right? Buy a classic car, yeah? Like after you buy a couple properties or something like that, buy a classic car and let it sit down because it's only going to increase in value. Yeah. Now, I don't know how much they increase in value. I don't know what the scale is or whatever, but it's better than buying like a brand new car that's going to depreciate. When you buy a brand new car, if you buy a 10,000, sorry, 50,000 pound brand new car like a Mercedes, as soon as you drive out of the showroom, blood, you've lost like five Gs. Well, I don't know what the percentage is. I don't know if it's 10% or whatever, but you've lost the percentage as soon as you drive that car out of the showroom. Yeah. You could have drove it out and come back with one mile on the fucking clock. It's lost value already. Eh? As soon as you turn over the Ross Clark engine, it's lost value. Well, say for example, a classic car, or there's certain cars like, let's say, let's say like a 2001 Ford Focus RS, yeah? that car goes up in value, eh? but not no brand new Mercedes. Eh? So invest your money wisely, spend it on things that appreciate rather than things that depreciate. All these clothes that you're wearing and that, yeah? Correct me if I'm wrong. Gucci and Balmain and Balenciaga don't go up in value, yeah? Those clothes only depreciate, yeah? Now, obviously, they still hold some value. Yeah, you could still sell those clothes after a few years or whatever, but they hold, they, they depreciate. So, yeah, man, get, in, get involved in property, man. Like I said, I'd rather be sitting on five grand and have two or three properties to my name. Yeah, let's say three or four properties to my name, be sitting on five or ten grand rather than sitting on 120 grand. What is that doing for me? 
how is sitting on £120,000 helping me? That's not helping me do nothing. Yeah? You need to invest that money, spend that money wisely. Man like Ben 838, Wagwan. Yeah, man, invest your money, man. That's nothing is serving no purpose whatsoever having a hundred grand, a mil in your bank account. Even like celebrities, yeah? You know, like when you look at people like, I don't know, anyone, yeah? Jay-Z, Be Jeff Bezos, fucking Nelly, yeah? Anyone, yeah? Fucking Chris Brown. It, so, it will say their net worth is 150 million, right? Please believe they don't have 150 mil in their account. Yeah, they have assets. Yeah, whether it's whether it's in cars, even if it's depreciating, whether it's in houses, whether it's appreciating, their net worth is all of their assets combined. Right? I don't know the actual formula of how to work out their assets in that, but when they say their net worth, yeah, is one hundred and fifty mil, it's not in cash. Yeah. Anyone who's a businessman, right, who has multiple businesses, right, if you was to have a look on. I don't know what these fucking um, these these websites are called. There's this, like there's a website that tells you about people's um, how much money they got or whatever in it. Yeah, they finance it. But you look any of these people who are proper business people. Say for example, like Alan Sugar. His net worth might be I don't know. Let's say five hundred mil, for example. Right? He ain't got five hundred mil in, in his bank account. Yeah. His five hundred mil is spread out. Yeah throughout different businesses. Yeah? And I found out as well, man, I thought Alan Sugar was famous, sorry, I thought Alan Sugar was rich from obviously his little businesses here and, well, his big businesses here and there. And he's not rich from that necessarily. That's not why he accumulated all of his fortune. Do you know where he actually accumulated his fortune? Property. He used to buy commercial properties and I believe he used to renovate them. Yeah? I can't remember what the article, I can't remember the exact, information on the article like word for word obviously but they said oh don't be under the illusion that alan sugar is rich from his selling his business or the electrical goods whatever he was doing it's because he used to buy commercial buildings and renovate them yeah either sell them keep them for a while and then sell them whatever in here but he used to renovate commercial buildings so so let me just adjust this so there's definitely money to be made in property, like even building houses as well. Fucking hell. Yeah, if you've got a plot of land and you built houses or built flats on that, you can make so much money. But you ain't going to do it buying Balenciaga and driving a Mercedes when you really don't need to. It's all a mindset. All a mindset.